wasn't even going to do an Inside Out anything, but then I started crying in the theater and I was like, bing bong, you got it, you got a cake, Inside Out is getting a cake. So today we are making an Inside Out cake. I am excited for this, I love the characters, I love the colors, so let's get to it. Now the items you're going to be needing for this tutorial besides the obvious cake are shortbread cookie dough, black M&Ms, black and white cookie icing, blue, red, yellow, purple, and green food coloring, blue, red, yellow, purple, green, and white candy melts, blue and green sprinkles, and your inside out printouts that you can find in the description box below. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work with our cookie dough. So I'm gonna divide my cookie dough into five different portions, and we're going to dye each piece of cookie dough a different color. Just add a little bit of food coloring and then work it into the cookie dough. And you're just gonna repeat this process until you have all five pieces done. Then we are going to take our inside out printout and we are gonna cut out all of the characters. Now rolling out our cookie dough, we're gonna place our cutout on top and then using a knife, we're gonna cut out the characters. And once you've got all of them cut out, they're gonna go into the oven at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes. And then voila! This is a great start. They look really nice. So the three female characters have beautiful glittery hair. So for them, we're gonna take our prints out and we're gonna cut out their faces, place them on top of the cookie, and then using a toothpick, we're gonna outline their hairline. Then we're gonna grab our cookie icing, and then using the marks as a guide, we're gonna fill in the hair. Now for the edges, I'm gonna use a paintbrush and just paint on the sides so our sprinkles stick to the edge. Then I'm gonna grab our sprinkles and just sprinkle it everywhere on the head. It'll only stick on the cookie icing so you don't have to worry if you get it on the face or any other part of the cookie. We're gonna take our black cookie icing and we're going to add some dots where we want the ice to be and then we're going to attach two black M&Ms. I'm gonna take more of the cookie icing and I'm gonna give them a smile and some eyebrows, emphasize their emotion. And we're gonna take some white icing and give them pupils. Hootie hoo, look at that. Oh my God, these are fantastic. All right, so our characters are done. Let's work on our candy melts. So first we are gonna take the yellow, blue, red, green, and purple candy melts and we're gonna melt them down. Then we're gonna place them onto a piece of parchment paper and then spread it out using a spatula. Move it around to create an even surface and also try to create a circular shape. So I've got these round cookie cutters. Look at that. Wow, I didn't know they did that. I'm gonna take the largest one, which is about five inches, and I'm gonna use that to create a circle around the yellow. Then I'm gonna take the second to the largest one, which is about three inches, and I'm gonna create the blue, and then create a two inch circle around the red, one and a half inch circle around the green, and then a one inch circle around the purple. Now we're gonna set these aside, let them dry, and then pop them out. So now we are going to take our second printout, the Inside Out logo, and we are going to place it on a flat surface, and then place a piece of parchment paper on top of it. So this logo is inverted, so when you pipe out the letters, and flip them over, the flat side is what will be seen, while the crappy side that we're piping will be hidden when it's stuck to the cake. So our cake is made up of three layers of eight inch round yellow cakes. Now in between each layer is some purple vanilla icing, stack them on top, and then just cover the entire thing with purple frosting. <laughs> now usually you'd wanna give this a crumb coat, but I'm too lazy. <laughs> our cake is ready, our decorations are ready. Let's put this baby together. So I think the concept of Inside Out is incredible. You know, I've never seen the mind really depicted like that before. And it kind of got me wondering about the emotions in my head. I think one or two of them's missing because I'm always feeling some type of way. Watching Joy break down in that memory black hole thing was so heartbreaking. I mean, if she's not happy, then all hope is lost. Anger is definitely the emotion that I experience most when I'm driving. You know, they're all gonna cut you off anyway, so you might as well just do it to them. <laughs> Disgust and sadness, they've gotta be my favorite emotions. You know, and maybe it's because both of the actors are alumni from the show The Office, but the voices fit the characters so well that you kind of forget what the actors look like. Phyllis is my favorite character from The Office, and the actress, who's also named Phyllis, voices sadness, and knowing that, just add so much. It's like getting Chipotle and then adding guac. I love the voice acting, but more importantly, I loved that I left the movie understanding that all emotions are valid. Things are extremely joyful. 
only because we understand what it's like to be sad. Ta-da! And there you have it, your very own inside out cake. Oh my god. This looks phenomenal. The colors on the side of the cake and the purple, it's so simple. But it is amazing. All these characters are so lovable. Sometimes you just fall in love with things, you know? Now I'm curious, what did you guys think of Inside Out? I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments what you think I should make next and I will see you very soon. Bye. Want to see more? Head over to the Malburnian Mama YouTube channel and she'll show you how to make these awesome inside out Zoom Zoom cakes and some other really cool stuff. Otherwise, you can watch more right now.